This is Dale Van Curen with another recording on how to personalize your iPad. This is video number three on restrictions. I'd like today to show you how to uh, set an account freeze on your iPad, not allowing um, a student or anybody without the restriction password to sign in or out of any of the Apple services. So let's start in settings. Uh, when we go into settings, it will start with our general. And we want to go swipe down. And if you've seen my other videos, you can see here that here's restrictions. You can see I have not enabled restrictions yet. So I'm going to enable them. Set my trusty password at four zeros. And you'll see now that the restrictions are enabled. When I go to restrictions, I want to go down here to accounts. Okay. When I touch accounts, here are your two options. You can allow changes, which is the default. This would be what you would normally see on an iPad or an iPhone or an iPod that allows you to sign in and out of the Apple ID pretty freely. When I touch don't allow changes, uh, what you'll see is a change on the left hand side. The Apple services iCloud, Messages, and FaceTime are grayed out. So let's see what happens here. I'm going to close this out. And I'm going to go into the App Store. And when I go into the App Store, if I scroll to the bottom, you'll see there's my name and I'm, I'm signed in with my Apple ID. And when I try to touch it, with, you can't see me do right now, but I'm trying to touch it. Nothing happens. It's grayed out. I can't sign in of that, sign out of that Apple ID, nor could I sign into a new Apple ID. So my account, my, my accounts on this uh, iPad are frozen. Why would you like to do this? Why is this a, a skill that maybe parents would want to know? Let me show you. I'm going to the settings, and I'm going to go into that same restrictions, and I'm actually going to turn off what we just turned on. So I'm going to go down here to um, accounts, and I'm going to go back to our normal allow changes. You can see what happens on the left-hand side is those Apple services like iCloud, Messages, and FaceTime pop back up. And so the question I get from parents once in a while is, how can I restrict or turn off iMessage? Because as you can see in restrictions here at the top, you can, you can turn a lot of Apple services on and off, but the one thing that you cannot do is turn iMessage off. So let me show you how to do it. I'm going to go over to Messages on the left and I'm going to touch it and you'll see that I'm I'm signed into iMessage. I am now going to sign out. iMessage has been turned off. I go back over here to general, go down to restrictions, remember my trusty password. I'm going to go back down to what we just showed what I just showed you how to do, which is accounts. And I'm not going to allow changes. I'm going to touch this don't allow changes. You'll see again, as I showed you before, those services on the left are grayed out. Let's test this out. I'm going to touch the home button and go back to my home screen. My iMessage is in my product productivity folder in the upper right. There's messages. When I go to touch it, you can see there's an account restriction because it's going to ask me to sign into iMessage. My account is locked, which means I can't sign out and I can't sign in to any service. I touch OK and look what happens. Actually, message just closes itself. So if this is something that you think you might want to do, uh, if you'd like to restrict or disable the use of iMessage on school iPad or any other Apple device that you may own at home, that's how you would do it. OK, thank you. Uh, again, if you ever have any questions, feel free to contact North High School uh, and we can try to answer them.